Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Yen, and today I have a really exciting video. I am currently in Dallas, and I will be thrifting for a day, so 24 hours. The last time I went, I didn't really find a lot of good items it was just a bus but today I'm very excited and currently before I go thrifting I am eating at in and out this is the delicious meal and also can't come to in and out without getting their chocolate shake hubby is here today to help thrift before we get into this video please hit that subscribe button down below if you guys haven't already and let's get into this video Okay guys, at the first location, hopefully it doesn't suck, so let's go on in. This is a really nice pair of men's boots. These look like Zara. Inflation hit Dallas first. Found this really nice pair of vintage boot cut Levi's, but they're so faded. And they're $10.99. Also, found a pair of vintage Calvin Klein. This one is really nice, but it's also really faded. So I feel like I don't want to get this for $10.99. This is the third fit for the day. I found this really cute new to me brand it's called Lucy Paris let me know if you guys would pick this up but it looks like this really gorgeous but it's just I think it's pretty expensive here and they don't really resell for a lot but it looks like this okay so I just finished at the first location I feel like they didn't have a lot of younger items I did get two items so I'm just going to show you guys right now I got this pair of store Weitzman heel this is like a kitten heel they're just like a gold metallic style and I just thought that these were really cute and super y2k then the other item I got was just a blouse and this one is so fun I want to find more blouses like this even though I don't wear blouses a lot but I want to try and dress this up it's by this brand Kai I've never heard of it it's in the size medium and also it's actually brand new with tag but on to the next location
I wanted to pop in and tell you guys that this table, they had all of their designers laid out. So I found those Aquatalia uh, boots and they were super cute, but really marked up. And look at these coach boots. They were so new looking and they marked this at $150. So I couldn't really pick that up to resell. It was really close to the retail, so I didn't think it was worth either. But this one was another pair of Aquatalia and the other table had men's shoes and more like bigger designers. So this was like Dolce & Cabana and it was really worn. So I just wanted to show you guys this, but I thought that was pretty cool. this really cute dress but it is twelve dollars also in a size large so I'm gonna leave this behind but it's so cute Okay guys, so I just finished at the second location, which was a Salvation Army. The store is very big and they have some designer stuff. As you guys can see from the thrift with me portion, I did end up buying a few things. I found a lot of lingerie items. So this is the first piece. It's kind of weird holding it up because people are walking around. But this is a brand new with tag Felina um, lingerie brand and I really like this brand their bras are really cute and very dainty so that's why I got it it was like $3.99 and then also I found this really nice brand new with tag corset it's actually by Rihanna's lingerie line which is Savage X Fenty and it came with the matching thong as well as a garter so super sexy this one is in the size extra large this whole set was $3.99 so that was awesome this is also a lingerie piece a really cute black bustier it was only a dollar 99 so this is in great condition the last thing that i got my husband actually found and it was a good american pair of jeans it's in the size 15. i've never seen this pair so I couldn't pass it up for only $7. That was everything that I got, so let's head to the next door. Let's go through the unwanted rack and see if we can find anything. I don't know. 
this brand, but this is only $7.99. It's super cute with the flare sleeves. This dress is so cute. It's a vintage Ann Taylor, and it's super like cottage core, fairy core. Love it. And then also this one, it's super cute, but it's 10 bucks. Love this pink rose gold dress as well. Has a little tie in the back. So I'm going to leave both of those behind. Okay guys, so we are done for the day. We're going to resume tomorrow, but I did get a small amount of stuff. I wanted to thrift for myself on this trip, but honestly, I can't really find anything that I like. It's raining if you guys can hear it, but I got this rag and bone silk blouse. Very cute. You guys also saw that I grabbed these at the putback rack. Super cute pair of Levi's and these were $7.99. I got this for myself. It's just a cute little tote bag. And then I found this Eileen Fisher textured tunic dress or top and it's very cute. I love this. This was $3.99 and I can probably get like $50 for that. And then I got a bunch of lingerie pieces. So I guess this entire trip has been just lingerie mainly quickly going to show you guys what i got this is a victoria's secret little cami only a dollar 99 got this vintage rampage adorable yellow cami this is 3.99 um got this lip dress 3.99 once again super cute i love this this is a victoria's secret slip dress and it was a dollar 99 and the last thing i got was this betsy johnson slip dress very very cute very happy with everything good timing because there's a car next to me so i'll see you guys later okay so this is not thrifting related but i still wanted to include this in the video because this was my first time at a tj maxx with a huge runway section and they had a lot of designer items i honestly loved it and this was around the time when TJ Maxx had their red tag, almost yellow tag clearance sale. And I wanted to check it out in case they did have some items marked down. But as you guys can see, a lot of these were just designer items. And this is the clearance section. Alex is still in training, so he's only showing you guys the tags of denim. But I hope you guys enjoy this little snippet. This was a pair of jeans that was pretty worth, but I don't pick up seven for all mankind jeans that often. And also we only found one great pair of jeans and that was a pair of a goldie that you guys are about to see. But these were like $30 so it would have been great if they were in my size. Not worth picking up to resell. And here is just some other things in the clearance section and they were all red tags at the time. So I didn't really find anything um, this day but just wanted to show you guys in case you were interested as well. Hey guys, so it is a day two of thrifting. I am at the first location at a Goodwill store, so I'm very excited. Hopefully today is a Saturday, so they will have some new items, but let's go on in and see.
Okay, so after that Goodwill, I'm at Uptown Cheapskate and I'm about to go in. I have a short time limit, but that thrift store surprisingly was very debatable because it wasn't that great to start but then I found some really great brands as you guys can see so I was very excited because a lot of these brands are more mature brands and they're new to me brands that I've never seen at the thrift store so I was very surprised I did pick up some things but I will show you guys the haul after uptown and see if I can find anything there but I just went to get boba because as you guys can tell this fan is blasting it is so hot so let's go on into uptown and hopefully they have a sale Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a little quick Goodwill haul. I am pretty happy with this location or just like today's trip in general because a lot of these items are more exciting to me personally. The first item I got is this, I don't know how to pronounce this brand and hopefully there aren't major flaws that I am missing, but this dress is called Mage or Maj. I don't know how you would pronounce it, but it's just a very cute romper. So it looks like this and very patriotic. It's like silk blend. This one is a Ted Baker top. This is just for my dad. I found this really cute vintage Y2K little crochet cardigan. How freaking adorable is this? And there are some sequins on it. So very fun. And then I found this Derek Lamb off the shoulder top. So it looks like this up close. Love it. This is my first time actually finding this. And then this is a Todd Snyder pair of pants. I've never heard of this brand, but it just looked really expensive. And these pants can sell for like at least $40. So that's what I'm hoping to get. There is a little stain on the butt, but hopefully it'll come out in the wash. I got this. This is another mage piece or mosh. Um, very cute. It's just a pair of pink pants. These were the one of the first exciting items that I found. So I started looking at the sections carefully. And then the last thing I got was a pair of vintage Levi's in the 505 style. It is a very small size. It is a three. Um, so this is very rare. So very exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I realized that a lot of these thrift stores were just not hitting for me and I don't know if that's because of the items that got put out or if I just went on the wrong day. I would try to link all the thrift stores down below if you guys are interested in checking any of these locations out. Feel free to let me know where I should go in Dallas and just anywhere else. I did a video thrifting in Oklahoma as well as in Austin and I forgot I also went thrifting in in Portland so check out all of those videos I think you guys will enjoy them please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up it would mean a lot to me also please subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye